going on, buddy? Welcome back to another brand of view. We're back with some more Detroit Becoming Human. And anyways, now we're going to be going to a thing called Mean Kamsky. Um, I'm not really quite sure what that's supposed to be. Or is that a person? I have no idea. But I know we're going to be in Connor's story. That's all I know. So, let's get into it. I want to find more about Connor because he's pretty much the only, like, not saying the other characters aren't. But I find his story is more intriguing to me. Uh, to play as in uh, the art characters. So, uh, I don't know if that's your favorite. But let me know in the comments down below. Is Mark is your favorite? Kara or is Connor as well? So, let me know. 11.17 in the morning. Guess that's an important call. <laughs> Hank, I'm freezing in the car. Why'd you leave me there? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Hmm. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? This guy I don't even know who Kamsky is. Please tell me. Turing test, and he's oh, the so it is a dude. Life. If anybody can tell us about deviants, it's him. You know, just look around the place until we get. Oh, hey, it's the layer from the uh, main menu. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. He is staring down at her. I am just going to point that out. When he walked in, he was like, "Dang!" I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please I don't make yourself comfortable. I don't want to say more. <laughs> All right, uh, can we sit down or something? Yes. <laughs> or we sit up. Well, not sit up, but stand up. Nice girl. Uh, sincere. You're right. She's really pretty. <laughs> nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Uh, impatient? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Times I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. So what do we do? Do I get up now? Or do I? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't really know what. I don't know. I'm supposed to wait. Ooh, analyze. Can, can you analyze the picture, please? Oh shit. Uh, I was not staring at the picture that long. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, more women here. Mr. Kamsky. Just a moment, please. I guess just take an RC. Nope, not this time. Game's like, nope, you ha you said enough. I wonder if we could talk to the woman in the pool. Let me see. Or can we get in the pool? We can go swimming with them. Can I talk to her? 
Nope. She does not want to... Oh! He's in the pool! <laughs> I thought he was in the air room. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Uh, virus. Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Uh... Defensive? It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. <laughs> well, that's what your program. But you. What do you really want? To solve the case. <laughs> what I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? Piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? Oh shit! What? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. What? Oh! Damn it! He's caught me because we need the information. But at the same time, Hank doesn't want me to shoot. God damn it! Uh, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. 
He saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I just realized the pool is not blue. Why is it not blue? You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Well, Hank likes us. That's kind of the reason why I did it. I just wanted to do it for Hank. <laughs> I want to stay on good terms with the man. Oh, boy. So... Let me see, can I, yeah, yeah, whatever, can, yeah. So the R route, we would have probably figured out what it was. So, yeah. Oh, well. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to make a good story out of this. I don't want to take a bad route. Like, that's one thing when I first play through a game is I want to try to see what's the good route we can get out of it. And then solve the rest later on, so. Oh, I guess I'm going already. It's funny that we're not playing Kara yet. We just went straight to Marcus. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Followers, next step, lie. Uh, let's they check that one. Obey me, they follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And it's scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Optimistic. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Because I don't want to talk about it, but I'll do it anyways. <laughs> I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. Why not? What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. 
I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. Oh, so she was... Oh, well, was she wasn't the one that killed the dude, though. Me. I strangled him and I ran away. Way! I should have told you. Please. Oh, dang. Shockwaves got me. <laughs> oh, we fright. We went from friends to lovers already. Jesus. <laughs> that was quick. The eating court. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Wait, what's wrong with the guy's leg? Oh, it's him! He's not gonna kill me, is he? Oh. <laughs> I thought he was gonna, like, get pissed off. Like, you fucking left me on the roof, you bastard. <laughs> oh, man. Jericho, the leader. Why am I wearing a blue suit? That's my question. I don't we'll be think a leader will wear blue, but okay. Life. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. So what are we gonna do? Convert more? Oh, no, that's a bad idea. The more we are, the stronger our message. Alrighty, so... Can I go in here? Nope. Convert this dude. <laughs> You're free. Is there a sale over here? Can I go in here? What's in here? <laughs> oh, man. Hi, dude. How you doing? You're awake now. Bye, dude. Oh, I got a ranking of two? The hell? Block Road. You're free now. Hey, where do you think you're <laughs> you get Convinced. That? Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Okay, how do we get across now? Do we take this? I need to block the street. Do it. I find they give like weird looks when like he tries to convert them for some reason. Oh! Dude, you're gonna hit someone doing that. Okay, open the manhole. Alright. Oh, here we go. Ugh, it's so heavy, I gotta press two buttons. <laughs> 
Oh, there's more people. Uh, convert more androids. Okay. Convert. I don't really want to. This is bad. Like, she's just helping them out. Come on, that's not fair. Can I convert anyone else? How about this dude? Oh, we just march. I am much on the street. Show who I am. Wish I could go faster. Oh, Jesus, you could go faster. You will be one of us. Join me, and together, I will give everybody pudding. <laughs> lots and lots of pudding. <laughs> you will get pudding, you will get pudding. Everybody gets pudding. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, L2. Oh, I'm just looking at a fucking poster? Oh, I'm converting it. Oh, well that's nice. Why didn't you just tell me in the first place? All right, I guess we just keep walking. Come join us. You two, come here. Come here, brother. <laughs> We're getting Hulk Hogan. He's coming to the team. <laughs> Anyone else? I thought there's supposed to be more robots here. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's another one. Come on. You know who you are. Just come. I wish my camera was over my guy again. Uh, raise hands. He doesn't know what the hell's going on at this point. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it's just thriller video, that's all. I got a lot of androids down here. Oh, I can still keep going? <laughs> I'm gonna walk towards you, brother. <laughs> Come join us, brother. I know you're not an android. <laughs> yeah, they're marching down the street. Uh equal rights. Freedom. We are people. Set us free. Uh, equal rights. <laughs> Set us free! Set us free! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Uh, we are people! Oh shit! The fuzz is here. We're doing nothing! That's the funny part. We're just walking. They're gonna kill us right now. <laughs> We're all dead. Okay, now what? We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. 
And if we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Oh, shit. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Attack, stand ground, or disperse. I would say disperse. Don't Let's shoot. just tell everybody Don't to go. Shoot. We're leaving. Disperse. Run! Shit. I know North hates me. Oh well, who cares? I don't care. We're we're trying to make it peaceful. Simon likes me at least. I'm happy with that. At least someone likes me. I just want to point out that they shot Beale's properties. I just want to throw that out. They did that. So technically, uh, people have the rights to claim their properties against the police officers that shot them. That's all I gotta say. Anyways, guys, hope you guys are watching. Hit that like button for more subscribe. You know, we are almost done. Legit almost done. I know I said that for like probably, I don't know, two episodes now, three. I don't know, I can't remember. But anyways, yeah, so we're almost done. I think we got like three more chapters after this. Then we're done the game! Yeah! And then we're gonna play a new game after this. So get ready for that, and I'll see you guys, of course, in the next videos. Peace out, everybody! Have a great day.